Hey guys, what's going on? Druzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video. Sorry for the lack of content over the last week due to my crazy work schedule this last week. It really kind of threw me off a little bit. It was uh, hard for me to be able to record some content, but I'm going to try to be a little bit more consistent with content this week for you guys. Going, There's going to be multiple late night Let's Plays. There's going to be plenty of South Park Phone Destroyer content, including some content that you guys have requested for me to do over the course of the last few weeks. And so, so... The last team was ended, and uh, we actually won again for the sixth consecutive week team Mamla did. Uh, we were in a bracket with Mexico 24-7, Donate 102, F and Elite, and Douches Nation, I think. Right? Yeah, something like that. But yeah, we won, and uh, that was really awesome. Uh, that 43 of our 45 people actually uh, competed, and then we got 37-19. Not the greatest score in the entire world, but a win. Nonetheless, that's all that matters, right? Uh, also, I did actually manage to record my matches that I did do in my uh, team versus team. I wasn't able to do it for you guys live or anything because I actually worked yesterday. And I will actually be doing some li some commentary on my own matches for you guys here towards the end of this episode. So 900 PvP tickets, 9 feathers, 10 ancient fossils, 31 secret chips. I need those. 18 prayer beads, 30 mage tomes. I need those. I need a lot more arrowheads than two, but... <laughs> But, you know, whatever. Seven futuristic robots, ten tomes of knowledge, eight fancy dreidels, that's fine. Six rats, 21 friar jimmies. That's a lot. 23 calamity hotties, that's actually okay. Uh, 22 zen cartmans, that's good. I mostly donate zen cartman right now. 19 energy staffs, don't have any need for that. Four program stance, so program stance now 80 of 100. He's my closest to get to level 5 epic. Four Hermes Kenny, so he's up to 41. And another legendary. We get Mecha Timmy. He is the closest that I have now to level 4, I believe, with 3 of 8. So there we go. We get another legendary pull. We get some decent epic cards. Hermes Kenny is definitely a good one. Program Stan is... He's okay. He's my closest to level 5, at least. But there we go. And a new week has started. We're going to pick my vote deck for this week, guys. And then um, we're going to just hop in and do that live commentary for you of those matches that I did record for you guys last night. So we got Transmogrify or Cock Magic to start. So far, it looks like there's only one tank. And uh, a lot of cancellation cards. I actually think Transmogrify is the better way to go than Cock Magic, to be honest with you. Uh, I definitely agree with uh, Canadian Night Ike here over Underpants Gnomes. I definitely like Astro Butters over uh, Gizmo Ike. I don't feel like Gizmo Ike really is going to be necessary for this one. Unless you really pair him, I guess, with Warboy Tweak and Hermes Kenny. There's some potential there, but I mean... I feel like a decent amount of people might actually pick Terrence Buffesto. And then, of course, you've got, uh, you know, Labar Jimmy to cancel all that out. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm not talking very well right now. Alien Clyde, definitely. Uh, I think definitely Bounty Hunter Kyle would be the one I would pick. I love me some Witch Garrison, don't get me wrong, but, I mean, Labar Jimmy just makes much more sense. Marcus makes a lot more sense over uh, Space Warrior Token. Uh, Osimo is just too strong right now to not pick him. Uh, we got Mind Control. He's definitely where to go. You guys know how I feel about Mr. Hanky. This one's a tough one, though. Look, we got Blood Elf Bebe, who is statistically an insanely strong card. She is probably one of the best cards in the entire game. You have really only two real Swarm-style units here. You have Underpants Gnomes as an option and Gizmo Ike. So if either of those two cards are played then Blood Elf Baby's just going to have a field day. But statistically and realistically, I feel like the Amazingly Randy overall is still better, even though he is counterable by Blood Elf Baby. This is a tough this is a tough one for me, but I think the group has a better understanding just because I feel like a decent amount of teams might actually pick Gizmo Ike. So I get the reasoning to pick Blood Elf Baby. What do you guys think of that one? That's probably the toughest choice, honestly, on this board. That I'm seeing. I can even see where Mr. Mackey, Mr. Mr. Mackey could be argued instead of Alien Clyde. I feel like Alien Clyde's poison cancel is going to be good enough to keep him in rotation. But just from just think also a few months ago, this last pick was probably not even up for debate. There would be no votes into Warboy Tweak just a mere few, just a mere update ago. Everyone would have put all their points on a Robin Tweak here. But Warboy Tweak is really good right now, guys. And if you have a respectable level of Warboy Tweak, this is hands down the better choice, I think. Rather than trying to do the, you know, some might try to do the 
Canadian Eye Dike and Robin Tweet combo that everyone used to run that isn't anywhere near as effective as it once was. But uh, yeah, so this is going to be the votes that I'm going to pick for this vote deck. I think I, I agree with the team pretty much all the way through. I think they're pretty wide on with it. Okay, so now we got the voting out of the way. This is what the deck would look like. Uh, and like I said, I voted for all these similar cards that my team voted for. I kind of like this current deck. I think it's going to be fairly strong. I feel like a lot of teams are going to go very similar here. Uh, I feel like Marcus is going to be a must-have. You can throw Hanky behind Marcus and just make him devastating, I really feel like. You can also use it with Canadian Night Ike. You can also use it with Osmo. There's a lot of potential here. You can even debate to have the Amazingly Randy for the fact that you could have Hanky as well to buff him. But yeah, all, all in all, I feel like this is a fairly solid team. But I've said that before and where I've had uh, solid you know, decks that I thought I was going to do really well in and then really struggle in Team Wars. But now we're going to do something a little bit different that I've never done. I'm actually going to commentate my own matches for you guys that I recorded last night at work, might I add, that I did uh, for my Team vs. Team matches that I did. Yes, of course, we're looking at the bracket here. Here's the team deck. We got Dark Mage Craig, we got Anyway Kenny, we have Swordsman Garrison, Dog Poo, Transmogrify, Calamity Heidi, Chicken Coop, Grand Wizard Cartman, Deckhand Butters, Man Bear Pig, uh, we got Cock Magic, and Canadian Eye Dike. As you see, I don't have quite a, the, a lot of these cards to very high levels. All of my legendaries are only level 2, even though we got d two of them to level 5 from the team. So uh, we also look at where we were sitting on the bracket. We were 16th in the world as we uh, started uh, this, uh, you know, team versus team, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to hop right on in, play the matches for you guys real quick, and hopefully... We're able to get some wins, right? That's all. That's all that matters, right? Is uh, getting some solid wins for you guys in uh, team versus team. And we're gonna, of course, gonna do some live commentary for you. First time that I'm actually commentating my own matches. We'll see how we do. So, for match number one, we have Gaming with Druzy from Team Amla versus Walls Street Vegas. Jersey's looking at his deck right here. He's got Grand Wizard Cartman to start. Probably the better start to start his handoff with. Wall Street is going to sit here. He's going to go out and throw out a chicken coop. Jersey decides to go against the Grand Wizard Cartman and play Dark Mage Craig instead to cancel out and try to deal with a lot of these swarm units. He decided to put Grand Wizard Cartman out in front to kind of tank for the uh, Dark Mage Craig as well as to try to deal with Deckhand Butters. But, oh, the Transmark fight comes out. Grand Wizard Cartman is down. Dog is going to be heading forward towards that new kid. Let's see what Wall Street does to counter that. He still just got the chicken coop going away there, but Dark Mage Craig's holding on for dear life, doing just enough damage to deal with that swarm. Dog Poo takes out Calamity Heidi very quickly, and now Deckhand Butters and Dog Poo are both on the new kid doing some solid damage. Uh, Dog Poo and Deckhand Butters go down, but Dark Mage Craig is back from the dead as he is revived basically back up to full health after he just sustains a good amount of damage from that swarm push. But now we got Swordsman Garrison out in front. We have Mr. Slave right there trying to deal some stuff with Garrison. Garrison and Slave going right at each other. He's gonna put some dog poo, or put the chicken coo back behind to try to deal with all that. The fireball comes down. We see Dark Mage Craig go down. We see Swordsman Garrison go down. And we see some significant damage done to that chicken coop as well as some new kid damage. So a very good fireball there by Wall Street Vegas. So, we have the Underpants Gnomes coming in here. We got Calamity Honey coming down. She's going to counter those Underpants Gnomes very quickly and hopefully be able to do some good damage there to Slave. But now we've got Deckhand Butters coming in here trying to heal Mr. Slave back up and make him back into fighting shape, which is very easy to do. But we got Canadian Eye Dike here. It's going to help Calamity Honey and that one cock holding on for dear life to take out Mr. Slave. And Mr. Slave's about to spawn some cocks. We've got Rogue Token in here coming to cancel out all of that push. And now some significant damage is being done to the new kid. Grand Wizard Cartman comes out. May not have been the best play by Druzy here. But he's just trying to deal with it. Be as much of a bully in front of his own new kid to sustain as much damage as possible. He goes with the Transmogrify. He's got the Deckhand Butters and that one rat going forward there. His wall is going to counter this Deckhand Butters. Not immediately. He waits a little bit too long, I think, to play the Calamity Heidi and take significant new kid damage because of it. But he's got Kenny here. He's got Heidi coming. He knows he doesn't have the Transmogrify anymore, so he can play his Man Bear Pig to counter out this push coming at him. Although he's not going to be doing much damage to Heidi, more or less he's just trying to deal with the Kenny there instead. Alright, so now that we've got all of that going on, let's see what we can do here with the Underpants Gnomes coming up here to try to deal with Man Bear Pig. Man Bear Pig seems to be holding them off with the assistance of Dark Mage Craig. we got Swordsman Garrison out here to deal with Deckhand Butters, who only heals up a chicken and nothing else. So now we're going to get our chicken coop going out here to try to counsel against his. He plays a fireball here, which does no damage to Dark Mage Craig, doesn't do any damage to the to the chicken coop, and does minimal damage to Man Bear Pig. 
So that easily allows Swordsman Garrison to go up, go forward, do all that damage. He's going to play the Inuit Kenny is Druzy there to the side to try to take the third bar just before time expires and is able to do so with a 3 0 victory there. So good game. Nice outfits all around in match number one for Gaming with Druzy. This is really weird commentating my own matches. I don't know if you guys like it this way or if you preferred Roman doing it. I prefer Roman doing it because Roman was hilarious last week. If you guys didn't check out that video, please do so. It was funny. I'm more strategical, I guess, in my commentary, the more animated and color commentary than, you know, Roman was able to uh, dish out for me last week. But shouts out to Roman's Edge on Twitch. If you guys didn't check out that video again, please do so. You will be not disappointed at all. It was solid commentary all around. We're going to hop right into match number two here. See who Druzy gets paired up with in match number two. I guess match number two, gaming with Druzy against FKN Worldwide Raptor. I already know this because, spoiler alert, I've already seen this. <laughs> Worldwide Raptor is going to be coming out here. And Druzy, both kind of just waiting for that 10 energy mark to hit. Druzy's kind of slow playing to figure out what to play first. He doesn't really want to play his Man Bear Pig right away, but decides to go against it when he sees the Grand Wizard Cartman level 1, knowing that his Man Bear Pig has the advantage. But... Of course, the good old Transmogrify comes out, cancels out the Man Bear Pig, which instinctively was what Druzy actually kind of wanted. Because in all reality, I would rather, or Druzy would rather, <laughs> have the Man Bear Pig canceled out by Transmogrify than the Grand Wizard Cartman. So, Medicine Woman Sharon is now out here. Arguably, in my opinion, one of the worst cards in the entire game. And uh, Druzy's just trying to wait to use his cock magic at the right time to eliminate multiple units, but unfortunately only two is there. Nam damage is being done to his nuke, he decides to not do that any longer, and takes the deckhand butters with his quick attack speed to cancel out those two cocks coming at him. So now he's got the deckhand butters in front to hopefully heal up the dog poo, but a very strategically well played uh, chicken coop goes there to easily cancel out dog poo with the assistance of Stan the Great to be able to take out that damage. So now we've got some Cox, we have a Dog Poo, and Stan the Great all coming over here. So that new kid's going to be doing less damage, or Swordsman Garrison is not going to be able to steal all of that, able to counter much of the Cox at least, but Dog Poo easily gets the one hit on the new kid and take bar number one. So Drizzy is at a disadvantage here. He's going to put the Calamity Hiding here to tank for the Dark Mage Craig as well as the Swordsman Garrison against Dog Poo. But then uh, Kenny is out here, so Swordsman Garrison needs to use his ability to get rid of that. Swordsman Garrison is now focused on the other Swordsman Garrison, so Ike will easily take out Swordsman Garrison quickly before he's able to use another ability and do all that additional damage. Drews is going to wait on his Ike to then use it at the right time, but unfortunately Worldwide Raptor hits him with a Cock Magic, and as you can see, the Cocks are strong enough to easily take that bar down. So Drewsy sits on the chicken coop, decides not to use it instead, and now has a decision to make. He's got Mamre Pig and Grimms or Cartman, both solid tanks to be played out first. But which one does he want to use? Obviously, he wants to use the Man Bear Pig here to get the Transmogrify used right away, so then he can use Grand Wizard Cartman instead. Which, spoiler alert, is exactly what Worldwide Raptor does. How did I know that that was going to happen? So, he goes ahead and decides to wait till the energy is back up to 10, since he knows that Worldwide Raptor is going to do the same thing and plays the Grand Wizard Cartman strategically instead. Now, he is aware that the Cock Magic is still in rotation, so I need to get as much units on the field to get to make it to where Cock Magic has little to no effect on it whatsoever, so the Chicken Coop is easily the card to be played here to then make it to where it's too many Swarm units and you're not going to be able to take out Grand Wizard Cartman easily. So I think that Worldwide Raptor realizes this and decides to just go ahead and do kind of a similar thought process. So he's going to wait, Drizzy's going to wait on the Grand Wizard Cartman until enough units are within Swarm range so that he can do the most damage possible. You see that the Kenny comes out. Drizzy kind of sort of uh, played into that with the Dog Poo to kind of counter that. Swordsman Garrison as well over there to the side. Satan is played for the first time by Worldwide Raptor to do as much damage as possible. But Dog Poo, Grand Wizard Cartman, and Swordsman Garrison are far too much for a level 1 Satan, which is not going to do much, if anything, at all to him. Swordsman Garrison's here. Dog Poo is going to easily tank. Uh, kind of a misplay on the Swordsman Garrison there. Panicked a little bit to think that it would need, be needed to take out the Sally. But you have Inuit Kenny, some Cox, Deckhand Butters, and Dog Poo all in the new kid. So good game, nice outfits all around for Druzy. Any 2-1 to one victory bar-wise against Worldwide Raptor in match number 2. So we already have two wins already with the deck. A deck that I was not confident about with going into Team Wars in all honesty with you. Uh, just having my legendary cards under-leveled for starters. All being at only level 2. I still think I, I I figured I'd go up against some definitely some level three legendaries different things like that, just to see a kind of uh, 
Uh, so I, I thought it was going to be a struggle, in all honesty, especially with how heavy cost this Team Wars deck was. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but it was, was a heavy cost deck. And uh, I, I don't do very well with heavy cost decks, so... I was actually very surprised at myself that I was able to easily get those first two wins, but I had some advantages definitely in the second match with having legendaries at higher level than his and Chicken Coop as well. But we got Woods Woods for Medicinal KFC for match number three. And of course, we already know what the team deck is going to be. We have Grand Wizard Carmen to start if we want to go that route. We're going to sit here for a second and wait for Woods Woods to make a play first, see what he's going to do. Woods Woods immediately comes out with the Man Bear pick, so Jersey goes ahead and plays that Grand Wizard Cartman. Now, there was two different scenarios that we can play out here. We can assume that he probably has Grand Wizard Cartman as well, because most teams probably did go that route instead of Satan. And we can just immediately cancel out Man Bear Pick, or we can save the Transmogrify for the possibility of a Grand Wizard Cartman. Instead, use our Swarm from the co from the Chicken Coop to take out Man Bear Pig easily with the assistance of Dog Poo and any other assistant units to then, we don't have to waste our time using the Transmogrify there and instead have it in reserve for when it's needed in the possibility that Grand Wizard Carmen is played, which it was played immediately following Member Pig's Demise. And then we're easily able to transmogrify that down, able to take out Kenny very easily. And now we have a slew of units attacking Woo Woods' new kid and able to easily take bar number one. Dog Poo is not going to die from that initial explosion. And we still have the Cox luckily taking for him off to the side. So Dog Poo is pretty much untouched going towards that new kid. So he puts Horseman Garrison to try to deal with the swarm. But the combination of Ike, some Chicken Coop, and... Dog Poo are too much for him and easily takes bar number two. So now we have a two bar lead. Drusy just cycles through Inuit Kenny to kind of deal with anything that may be played, as well as to think that maybe Woods Woods is just going to give up here and he could easily get the third bar. He uses Ike's ability to heal to try to keep him alive. Dog Poo is very well played to counter out that. We're going to wait to play a card before Stan the Great uses his ability so that we don't get that debuff against us. So now, Graham, so now we got Swordsman Garrison down here. He's going to take out. Uh, Swordsman to stand the great very quickly. I can't talk right now. We have Calamity Heidi here to tank for Dog Poo's hit on Swordsman Garrison because we want Swordsman Garrison to be at full health as much as possible. Deckhand Butter is going to come here to try to deal with Swordsman Garrison. We wait to use Swordsman Garrison's ability until he gets the new kid to do the direct damage. And we've got Deckhand Butters and Calamity Heidi as well there. That's just too much damage for Dark Mage Craig to deal with. So good games, nice outfit all around. And three consecutive wins for us in Team Wars this week. Very quick, very easy. Uh, I mean, we did some, have some advantage in card levels. That does that always, you know, helps. I'm not going to lie there. At 113 as the score, which is almost perfect. And you see I took an image just in case it, the recording didn't work. I, I wasn't sure if the recording was going to work in all honesty. So I wanted to take an image just in case it didn't work to be able to show you guys later that I did play those matches. So there we go, guys. That is what we had for Team Wars this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope uh, you liked my comment commentary. I know it's nowhere near to the extent of what Roman did last week. Like I said, if you guys didn't check out that video, please do. It was hilarious, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Plenty of content to come for the rest of the week. And until next time, guys, my name is Drewsy.